Hi everyone. I am Soumya and welcome to my channel Dreams DIY. In today's video, I'm going to do a tutorial on this shabby chic heart which is a very beautiful nursery decor or wall decor and I'll also be sharing the links to all the products that I've used in this. So let's start from the very beginning. If you're wondering where did I get this big heart from, it is from a thrift store and I got it for $3. Yeah, $3.19. So to begin with, I'm cleaning the heart with a wipe. So if you are thinking that where would you get a heart like this to make your DIY on, I have provided you the link of heart shaped canvases so in the description box you'll find the link so you don't have to worry about where to get a heart like this to make your diy on i'm painting the heart with white waverly chalk paint i got it from walmart i use chalk paints to diy a lot of stuff because i really like the consistency of the chalk paints it's thick and i don't need to put two three coats and it just looks really pretty so i like chalk paints and i use them the syrup statue that you see here is from amazon it was for five dollars and 99 cents and uh, i have provided you the link of this as well it's still available on amazon to stick this statue on the heart i am applying my modeling paste it's crafters workshop modeling paste and i'm going to stick it on that but then i felt that probably the modeling paste is not enough so i'm using this product it's called caulk and it's from dollar tree it's for one dollar and 25 cents and i use it to create texture on vases and it is also a very good glue i feel it's not for this purpose basically it's for some plumbing use but i use it uh, to create textures and to glue heavy objects to different surfaces I let this dry overnight and then I'm going to paste these beautiful papers on the heart these papers are from Stemperia and in the description box you will find the link to these papers as well I'm gluing the papers wherever I feel they are looking nice. this paper i got from dollarama i picked it up on my canada trip this is also very pretty paper and and i love craft supplies from dollarama i wish we had dollarama in the us as well but you can of course take any scrapbook paper that you have
I bought these doilies from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut them in half and then I'm going to paste the two halves around the angel. Now I'm hot gluing pearls in the little crevice that's there on the side of the heart. I'm trying to create a pearl garland like structure by placing the pearls inside that arc. I wanted to fit more pearls inside that arc but I could not because the space was not enough. So I will be pasting crushed glass pieces. I got them for a different project but I thought what the heck why don't I use it here as well. To paste the crushed glass pieces I used my E6000 glue. I have provided the link to these crushed glasses in the description box as well but if you only want to buy them for this just this one project and don't buy them because they're not very cheap so it's better to if you have more projects in mind uh, buy them only then otherwise you can stick some rhinestones or some some more pearls or whatever you like and i feel shabby chic art is incomplete without flowers and roses especially so i'm going to i'm pasting the roses that i had in my stash around the angel on the doilies that i pasted i already had these flowers but i have provided you the link of amazon where you can find flowers like this if you want to buy them now i'm using my stencil and my crafters workshop um, modeling paste to make this pattern on the heart so I feel using modeling paste and stencil all over your mixed media projects it just brings your art together it blends everything very nicely so I mostly I use stencils for this purpose this crochet lace that you see here is from Dollar Tree and I'm just um, pasting the crochet lace around the circumference of the heart Now this pretty lace, I don't know from where it is, I've forgotten that. But if you have a lace and you want to use it, you can do that. You can find a lot of nice laces on Amazon as well. Sticking this pearl garland on the heart, just in a random shape. Now I'm cutting a few more strands of pearls and I'm going to hot glue them the back of the heart. I'm going to secure them with a patch. I sprinkled a little bit of glitter on the heart and then it's ready. It already had a hanging at the back, two hooks and I also pasted a butterfly that I made in the very first video to, which I did on this channel so I'll be providing the link to that video as well and you'll see how it looks in just a bit